Oh, that was hot. For anyone feeling lost right now and needing some comfort, here's what I'm realizing at 29. Oh my god, cannot believe that it took so long. As you can see, I'm sitting here without any bra, just really felt like sharing this like i honestly don't even care about how i look right now there are some big big realizations that i had in regards to my entrepreneur journey in regards to relationships and in regards to jobs and lifestyle okay let's start the first thing is that when i began building my online business I just wanted to win like I wanted this to grow fast I was really focused on giving value I was focused on building it so that I can live financially independent yes there are some people who are very lucky and you know like they can invest $1,000 and poof like they start making money and passive income get money from YouTube and so on but for a lot of people that's not the case and I must admit that I wasn't okay with this fact at first I was you know like really questioning like okay I'm doing what I love like why isn't it growing faster why am I still here why am I not there yet um, and what was really eye-opening to this was to do what I love without expecting any outcome you know like I had to even learn this with my clients um, that I guide them through this journey and through my program however the result is also very dependable on their effort I used to beat myself up if and that was especially one person who didn't get the value out of the program and I really was searching for the mistake in myself and I was doubting my ability to help people actually but then on the other hand I realized that you know it takes two people whether that's in a relationship or in a you know coaching relationship or in a friendship it always takes two persons for it to work this was a huge thing also in regards to setting up your own business and having a job on the side I for for a time I really thought you know I'm just not made for this nine to five that I you know don't want to do the same thing every day and you know let other people tell me what to do um, because I was quite a rebel in my younger years and that has gotten me into a lot of trouble to be honest and this is the other major realization that sometimes we have to look at the bigger spectrum of you know what is this job or this work i'm doing allowing me to do actually your job is really sponsoring your lifestyle it's sponsoring you know that the activities you'd like to do it's sponsoring and you know paying for the services that you take it's paying for the fresh food that you have on your table it's paying for the comfort of a bed and a warm home and for so long i wasn't appreciative of this you know like i kind of had my mindset on you know the negative effects of it you know like sitting for too long looking into a screen the whole time having to clock in at a specific time yes those are all things that i believe you know they make up the matrix for a lot of people this is not very motivating but also that's really something that just struck to me because i would i sacrificed so much in the last one and a half years and i'm being really honest i invested a lot of money and energy um into making my coaching business work and it did but it's as everything else it's like always an up and down and you never know when the next payment comes so a job really helps you have consistency it helps you even though you never know if they'll drop you out like after a day or two or after three months so you get the chance to put money on the side so that you can really start building something on the side I just kind of realized how grateful i am right now when a job opportunity opens up that i just 
look at it very differently than before and that's really something like you really don't have to work 100% like full time and that's the beauty like we have the choice like we can work part time and do something on the side like depending on you know how much we spend depending on our lifestyle and depending on especially what is important to us especially what our values are and I really realized I don't need much materialistically but I like a cozy home I like to have the money to do beautiful activities with my friends I like to have the money to buy food I like the thought of knowing I can go to work and do something with my time so that I'm not like constantly only concentrated on my business because I think the more we force growth in a particular area in our life the more we kind of push it away from us and the same goes for money and this is something I'm learning at 29 the friend money deal with money as if it was our partner <laughs> like money wants to be loved and money wants to be appreciated and we don't appreciate money by stacking up so much money and putting that on the side and never touching it we also don't show love to money if we always send to the universe a sense of lack of not having enough the major realization that i had is that the universe always provides we have to keep faith that the universe will provide and that the worst case situation which is to land on the street will most probably never happen this is one thing that directs me to another thing and that is friendship <sighs> how often do you go out with someone and you feel like oh you're clicking and it's amazing and you're laughing together and you're loving life and then boom either that person ghosts you or they do something that pretty much disrespects you or suddenly there is no contact anymore um, or they just you know like don't contact you as much anymore and don't tell you why we all been there I've been there and I heard something really great from um, another youtuber that really what you need is one good friend you need one good friend who's gonna pick you up when you're down and who's gonna cheer with you when you're up high and this is so accurate, especially in my life. Like, I don't entertain anyone and everyone. With one person, I talk about more deep stuff than with another person. And I don't know exactly why. I just recently watched uh, on Netflix a series called Snowflake Mountain. And it's about young people who are... I don't know if you watched it. Let me know in the comments if you did, if you liked it or not. But actually, you know, it's about young people who are very spoiled and who don't want to do anything. They don't want to work. They just want to kind of, you know, like be those Instagram influencers and, you know, basically not move a single finger. Um, so they go to this camp and it's actually a survival training. And they get challenged every day. And, oh my God, like I fell in love with this series, seeing those beautiful humans how much they changed as a person and how they evolved into a being that knows compassion that knows what teamwork is that knows you know how to recognize their own feelings and acknowledge other people's feelings and how they you know like only that that personal transformation they did i was so fascinated by how much nature can teach us to appreciate the simple things and especially friendship especially knowing that you're not going through this shit alone they would at first not want to do things they would find everything gross like sleeping in tents and stuff like that and then with time you know they start saying things like well, you know, like, I don't even know if I want to go home because it feels right now like home here with you all. And I can resonate to this so much. That's how I felt when I went to a surf camp the first time in my life in Portugal. That was like exactly the same feeling. Like you wake up with those people, you eat breakfast, uh, you have some conversations, you talk about life and death and, you know, everything. 
and they learn the true value of friendship. A major thing that I'm realizing at 29 is nurture what you already have and especially nurture the relationships that bring out the good in you. You know, don't entertain just temporary people who don't even know what they want. But stick to those who have seen you in your in your shittiest moments, in your lowest low, try to say thank you. I really, last time I know I said to my best friend, I said thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for knowing me. Thank you for appreciating me the way I am. And just thank you. And she was like, are you okay? I'm sorry to put this in, but you never know when life is over. So appreciate, appreciate as much as you can. It doesn't matter if that's things that you already have, uh, people that are in your life, your parents, your family, your dog, your cats. The more I spend time off of so social media, the better my mental health gets, the more I actually see how much I already have. Because, you know, like, social media always kind of shows you what you're not having like it shows you people who are already successful and people are living their best life and it shows you the happy moments of people doing like really crazy activities and traveling the world but you know there is always a downside to everything and you know you don't have a boring life your life is full of riches but sometimes we really have to dig a little bit a little bit deeper to find what those things are. That gets me into something else that I've realized at 29 and this might also give you some comfort and by all means I'm no guru but oh boy was I tested when it came to rejection. I don't remember <laughs> when I had such a prolonged time of really literally getting rejected, not only by kind of potential partners, but like from all the sides, you know, business-wise, job-wise, and people-wise. Again, there is a reason why we get rejected. It's not because there's something wrong with us, but it's because you're opposing magnets. It's not gonna work, you know? Like there are just some people we're not gonna like you and there's some people they're gonna adore you and there are some jobs they are for you and there are just some jobs that just wouldn't be the right thing for you the same goes for everything in life honestly as much as you want something to happen as much as I was, as I was happy at a job as much as I was giving offering doing my best because I'm not a person who half asses things they can throw you out in a day you never know and you have to be okay with the consequence of it happening and it as I said again I'm gonna say it again it doesn't matter if in if it's in in jobs you know business relationships, friendships, um, or other opportunities, take rejection as a chance of slightly shifting your focus into another direction. Because most probably that's all we need. Sometimes we know something and we don't want to see it. We don't want to see that the shoe doesn't fit. We, we're, we're trying to squeeze our foot in there, knowing that on the long run it's gonna hurt us, but like still kind of wanting to do it and fit into the box. It's not gonna matter. I sometimes think back to five years when, you know, remembering someone rejected me, and then I think about it, I'm like, you know, does it bother me that that person from five years ago rejected me? I don't even think of it. You really have to question yourself, like, would it really matter in 10 years? Would it really? And if your answer is yes, ask yourself, what do you need to let go of in order to be at ease with how the situation is? Like, what is in there for you to learn about yourself and about life? That's like the biggest learning curve you're gonna have, like I think really in your 20s and 30s where you're just like, 
one day you're this person, the other day you feel like you're this person. Sometimes I feel like, oh, I'm very dominant. The next day I feel like, oh, I'm very compliant. One day I feel very extroverted, the next day I feel very introverted. Just embrace the whole range of emotions, embrace the whole change in life, in dynamic, in nature, in, in seasons and make the best of it. Just really make the best of each moment and especially when things get hard. Put one hand on your heart and really soothe yourself and say it's okay. It's okay, we'll get through this. Everything is temporary. I know I rambled a lot in this video and I really hope that you got some value out of this wherever you are in life. Um, also, please let me know in the comments what you got out of this video. And yeah, I wish you a very beautiful day wherever you are. Take care and I'll see you next time.